What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Throne of Eldraine League draft. We were going to do another Chaos draft, but then it literally stopped almost the exact second it would have fired. And it was like, the league has ended. And so he couldn't do it. And then a young ram. In the, what's the pick here, man? Can you just can you just pick something? You're being ridiculous. Uh, Take that one. This one? Yeah. Can you imagine if I did it? Which one's better here, I wonder? I think I want the white card. They both have text, so that's good. I think I want the knights again. All right, so so a young ram in chat said, Yo, Frank, I started watching Seinfeld from the beginning, and it's so good, and I agree with you completely. But Katie's brother actually messaged me and said, Frank, why do you like Seinfeld? And I was like, why do I like the best sitcom ever created? Hmm. And he said... Or how can I learn to like Jerry? How can I learn to like Seinfeld when I hate Jerry Seinfeld and don't think anything is done as funny? Is it worth watching for just George? Why shouldn't I just watch Curb Your Enthusiasm? And he's like, but like I think I might like it, but just cannot get through any of it. I love It's Always Sunny, and that's essentially the same show, just crazier. And um, yeah, so I told him I was like, it's the best show. So my response, I think Savvy Hunter is probably the best card in this pack. Ardenvale Tactician goes with this the best. Knights, 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 knights. Knights is great. White is always open, and I love it a lot. My response was, um, basically, the show is insanely ahead of its time, and while I think it holds up extremely well, ridiculously so, if you're comparing it to shows that came 10 years later with a different sense of humor, I don't think it's going to be a fair comparison. Seinfeld was the first sh ever show about absolutely nothing, and that was groundbreaking. Seinfeld is also 1,000% worth watching for the ensemble, including Newman, Elaine, George, Kenny Banyan, David Putty, etc. The show is genius. I think if you like The Office, you would love Seinfeld, even despite Jerry Seinfeld. And he's like, how long do I put up with it before I realize I either want to keep watching it or not? And I'm like, it shouldn't take too long. So that was my that was my Seinfeld conversation. Ooh, Glass Casket. Yeah, that's an easy pick. Are you exploding? A little bit. Do you need a... Uh... Yeah, I had five slices of pizza, man. <laughs> that was like four hours ago, man. Well... It, the effects take a while. Hmm. Did you poison this? Yes. Nice. Just is a little it, pepper. Is it tournament grounds or is it fairy godmother? I would take fairy godmother. We're only white so far. And <laughs> show you love I don't want to be only white, though. I want to take this so I can splash them red cards. Oh, see, you stupid dummy. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. Oh, my God. I happened to get rewarded the one time I took the trial iron. You're dummy. Boo. What? Hey, man. Yes, man. Can we watch Seinfeld from the beginning? I'd do that, for sure. If I did that, I would probably get the Hulu without the ads, because I think it's probably worth the extra $3. Oh, is it on Hulu? Yeah, it's on Hulu. All it's on Hulu. Because I have nothing against Seinfeld. I've just never really taken time to watch a bunch of episodes. The show's so good, dude. Better Malone is just better, right? God, the nights are always open, dude. No one takes these nights. I can go into the night and show you love. This is off topic, but when do we ever stay on topic? So, you know. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was watching this uh, poker hand breakdown, and the guy was like, "We have this uh, this like free poker course, and it's like seven dollars." And I'm like, "Okay, I'll check it out." TPO. Well, oh, sorry, man. Give me two uh, seconds. TPO. Yeah. No problem at all, man. Really, uh, really appreciate good conversation, and uh, have a good night, buddy. All right, finish what you're saying. Okay, so it was like, if you're interested, we have a free poker course for seven dollars. Uh, it's good for if you're getting new into competitive poker. And I'm like, okay, cool. That sounds interesting. Because I've seen other websites and they're usually really expensive. So I'm like, that's only $7. It's not a bad investment. And then I went to see like what their, that's only like one course. And I went to see like the, what their main charge was. And it's like $100 a month. And I was like, nope. <laughs> no fucking way. And they're like, you get a good deal if you buy six months. It's only $600. Or a whole year or whatever. Thank you. Buttershoot. Thank you so much. B -b Buttershoot. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for the resub, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. You should make time to go see The Lighthouse and Parasite this month. Someone asked me earlier about Lighthouse, and I was like, I haven't even heard of Lighthouse. 
Never heard of either of those. Unfortunately, Tournament Crowns does not cast Linden, the Steadfast Queen. Also, for perspective, the guy who made this poker course that's charging ninety nine a month for it, right? Hey, he's charging ninety nine a month for it, right? Daniel Negrano, a much bigger and much more well known player. Oh, God, it's cheaper. It's it's like ten dollars a month for his course. Dude, I would take Daniel Negrano <laughs> nine times out of nine. It might it might be more than ten a month, but it's like way cheaper. Oh, that's not that's all I know. And I'm just like, why would I? You want me to pay ninety nine dollars for yours? And it's like you got to compare like. At the end of the day, that guy has a better results than you do. He's been playing a lot longer. So. Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah, Silver Flame is actually really good. I think I think I, I don't mind taking Silver Flame for sure. Um, but I think I can get another Silver Silver Flame. How much does the Atlas Hulu cost? I think it's like three more dollars. I don't even know, man. I think it's way more than that. So what I have now is like. Hold on, it's like six bucks. Hold on, oh, you just... get it for free from Spotify, right? Well, it's not free. I think I have to pay like three bucks extra. I always want to make sure this is open in front of. Okay, so for me, um, my Spotify and Hulu is nine ninety nine. Oh, Murderous Rider, fudge yeah. So it's Spotify Premium plus Hulu for nine ninety nine. Yes, that is correct. Okay, and usually Spotify is like six bucks or whatever for the free or the premium. No, I think Spotify Premium is is ten, and you get Hulu with it for free. Is what oh, I they think. throw it on. Okay. Ooh, Slang Fire or Smitten Swordmaster. I'm gonna take Phil Hel Helmuth's poker course so I can learn how to be a horrible jerk at the poker table. Wow. He's gotten better over the years. He's not as bad as he used to be. Slang fire or sword sword master, but it is entertaining. Five dollars a month extra just for. So you're basically paying double. Well, I mean, there's no reason like. Well, fifty percent more, but like just for not commercials, it's kind of obnoxious. Yeah, but there's so many commercials. There's a commercial know, at the beginning, it's, that's there's a commercial how they get midway, you. and then there's a commercial right at the end. That's how they get you. They're like, look how many commercials. And they're all like there. 90 seconds. That's like, it's like, it's like worse than real commercials. <sighs> this guy's really good, but we're not going to play it. We're just going to take Second Glass Casket. It's also really good with Flutter Fox. I think it's worth if you watch a lot of Hulu. Yeah. 90 seconds is a good amount of time. I think the thing is, I think I'd watch more Hulu if it didn't have that. Because I've been really trying to get through X Files. If they were 30 seconds, it'd be fine. But like 90, I was like, yeesh. But the thing is, like, Spotify, the Spotify plan I have doesn't. I can't go to like Spotify.com and then just upgrade my plan to a version without commercials. I have to, like, I feel like I should call them and be like, hey, can I just get the non ad version? What up, gentle beings? Do I want Silver Flame Ritual, Second Tactician? I don't think I want Trebuchet because I'm not going to... I'm just splashing this guy off of, like, tournament rounds. And the other tournament rounds might even come back, which would be sweet. It's funny when he's doing it to other season pros because they just laugh at him. I hate it when he does it to random people. They're just trying to play, though. Yeah, I mean, he's a pretty sore loser. That's just, like, that's just how that guy is. Oh, but this is not Pioneer. Yeah, you're right. I'm just going to say Throne of Eldraine. They actually shut down the... They shut us down. Yeah, they shut us down. They literally stopped the draft format as we were... Queuing. Steel Claw Lance seems like gasoline in this deck. Yeah, we were literally in the queue. It was about to fire, and then they're like, the league has ended. And I was like, oh, shit. Oh, my God. Double Shadow Claw Lance? Holy Jesus. Seems good. That does seem good. What's your favorite poker problem, Mike? Uh, I think it's I think it's Negrano. I think it's probably Danny Negrano. I think he's, he's like very entertaining. He's good, but he's also not a dick. No, he's a very nice yeah. guy, and he's he's always like talking. So it keeps when you're watching poker, him talking actually is like super entertaining. Like he, he obviously does it to try to get reads, but but also he's just like a talky, fun, chatty guy, which really livens up the poker game. Like if you're watching it, so he also does his own like breakdown videos, and he's very knowledgeable. So like I think overall he's one of my favorites. I don't think he's the best poker pro, but I think he's I'm taking this guy instead. definitely up there. And he's probably my favorite. I'll take Prize Griffin. I still yeah, think the best player is probably Phil Ivey. If I had to get one out there. 
Oh, look, the tournament grounds did come back. I'm going to take it because we do have... It does help us cast Steel Claw Lance and Inspiring Veteran and Murderous Rider. It doesn't help us cast... Keep in mind, it doesn't help us cast Swift End. Phil Ivy strikes me as like the, the Tiger Woods of, of poker. Is that because he's black? Uh, it's not specifically because he's black, but it is because he they, they have a similar look. They do look similar. They also have similar, like, very quiet, strong type of guys. Yeah, right. They have a similar attitude. Like, Ivy never talks at the table. And he always says, this is Phil Ivy. Yeah, that's pretty much, yeah. It's like... <laughs> he always has his mouth open, dude. John Medina, while, what's going on? Every once in a while, I'll let out a sigh. That's about as much emotion as you get from that guy. Every once in a while, I'll be like... <sighs> that's it. That's it. I mean, I know why he does it. It's not good way information, but... A god of crystal slip. Is that better than Ardenvale Paladin? I don't know. My favorite is Scotty Nguyen. Oh, <gasps> Scotty. Scotty's Me an interesting mugger. player. Katie, what's going on, buddy? Hey, uh, baby. Scotty Nguyen. I can't do a very good impression of him, but oh, he's ridiculous. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Outflank is terrible. This what's is Outflank do? It uh, deals damage target attacking or blocking creature with a number of creatures you control. So you're like, I got six creatures. I can kill your guy. But most time you have one creature and it does nothing, pretty much. Yes, right. So, like, if I have two dudes and they have a 3-3, three I'm just like, Welp. Phil Lock's pretty interesting. He's Out probably one of the best cash game players. Outflank is the definition of a card. That gets better the better you're doing. It's like a one more. Step on the gas while you're ahead. And it doesn't even give creatures flanking. Tch, unbelievable. Yeah, what, what the hell, man? That's messed up. You're messed up. Iron Crag Pyromancer. Okay, but we're not red. That card's good. Well, we have no other ways to draw cards, though, unfortunately. So Mike, do you turn you play game? Uh, I play a cash game sometimes, and I have a home game I play once a month. I would play more tournaments, but they're usually on Fridays and Saturdays, so I always work. Well, if you really like doing that, you could always look for a different job. That's true. Considering you hate this one. Or I could try to at least get Saturdays and Sundays. Well, I could probably get Friday, Saturday off if I switch scheduled. I don't know. Why, why would you not do that? Those are such uh, better days. Well... I actually technically can't right now because I'm on a written up thing. I've been on it for a long time. They don't <laughs> like most places you work. If you're written up, it lasts like six months. That's pretty common. Where I work, it lasts a whole year. So I'm stuck on it until for like another six months. Giant skewer is fine, I guess. I also can't transfer departments while that's a, a foot. While it's a foot? Yeah. They wrote you up on a foot. <laughs> First picking Giant Skier feels so bad. Oh, Sir Allen of the Claw. The Lion's Claw, rather. That guy's, that guy's juicy. I much prefer tournament format to cash games. Having a set buy-in makes me way more comfortable. Yeah. Plus, you risk a little to gain a lot. That's the upside of tournaments. But tournaments are also way harder to win. So. Plebush, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. <coughs> really appreciate you. You are awesome. Also, what I like about cash games is you can just roll into, like, any casino and play 1-2 or whatever. And it's pretty fun and pretty easy to win. I don't like going alone, though. That's why I haven't been in a long time. I'd go with you. Yeah, but you're not going to go on, like, a Tuesday night, right? Why not? What do I got to do on Tuesday night? You know what I'd like to do? We can go to the Hard Rock. In Tampa. I'd be down. Because that's like a legit casino with like... They have one too. With like food, like casino food and stuff, you know? I'm telling you, man, the the Downs has good food. The Downs is significantly smaller, though. Yes. I'm taking her up in the tower. Plus, it's kind of cool to go to the Hard Rock. Yeah, because it's like that casino like experience. experience. Yeah. Right, exactly. Plus, if you like... If you're doing well at poker or whatever and you feel like playing something else, you can like take your winnings and go play Yeah, you can go play Blackjack. Right, exactly. Yeah. Literally, exactly. Do they have, like, a buffet? Do they have, like, a Vegas-style buffet at the Hard Rock? I don't know. I've never had... 
We've never had I've it. only been in the Hard Rock once, and they did not have a buffet when I was there, but... I also went kind of late, so... I don't know what the... What the deal is. Fresh Harvest Buffet. Dining, Hard Rock Tampa. Let's... Oh, Wind... Windmall... Windmall Commander. That's probably the pick. Casino food is generally good because, I mean, if they have bad food, you're going to be incentivized to go somewhere else, so they don't... They obviously want to... Yes. I've heard their steakhouse place, the Fresh Harvest Buffet. Tampa Bay's premier buffet awaits you with seven live action cooking stations to choose from. From brick oven pizzas to dim sum, delicious desserts and everything in between, Fresh Harvest Buffet is the place to embark on a culinary tour of the world. Interesting. Oh, did we just. Oh, Joust is. Joust is pretty OP. I, don't, I think it's probably better than Ardenvale Tactician, especially if we have the. Uh, I think we're definitely more. Uh, red than black but I also don't think it's I think we're probably pretty even here so this is white this is these are both white so they cancel out red card black card red black card I guess we're a little more black here but got 23rd an attorney in Windsor when I was 20 made like 3600 bucks that's pretty good what was the buy-in just curious one nickel that is a late Ardenvale tactician. One nickel to win 3,600 and 23rd. Those are some... That's a tournament I want to play every day. You can. Oh, good. You just got to supply the nickels. Oh, you mean you have to, like, provide everyone with nickels? Even so, I think it's a good deal. Yeah. Even Well, how many entries are we talking? Six. So six players. You have to give them all a nickel. And if you get 23rd out of 6, you get $3,600? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, man. It's pretty sick. Well, that actually seems pretty hard because I don't know how you get 23rd when there's only 6 people playing, so... Think about it. I, yeah, I don't... I don't want to. Look, look at all these Silver Flame Rituals we got now. 1,500 buy-in. Uh, yeah, that's not terrible for a buy-in for poker. It's a little above my pay grade, but that's not unreasonable for a poker. Tournament. And you basically guy. tripled up. For getting twenty third, that's pretty good. I think our man is going to be the roughest part, even despite having two tournaments. We're mostly grounds. white, though. We didn't even make one cut. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know what happened. I think I died. I got one prize, Griffin. I guess. Also, even if you don't go to their buffet, like their uh, like sit down restaurant, the cafe place was really good. I had a Reuben there, I think, or some kind of sandwich, and it was good. Oh, you won fifty one hundred, so you netted thirty six hundred. Okay. The best part about Glass Casket is that you get rid of a guy and you give your Flutter Fox float. Which is pretty nice. God. I think you snap keep any hand with planes and tournament grounds, right? I already did. God. I'm just saying. I haven't been to a lot of casinos, but... Man, look at this buffet, dude. Bad, is bad food. You're not... I was bigger than that, though. Uh, they have sushi noodles and dim sum, variety of sushi, delectable choice of authentic Asian and cuisine, traditional soups, assorted dumplings and buns. A raw bar with oysters, mussels, peel and eat shrimp, seasoned crawfish and soups. The grill, marinated and grilled chicken and beef, variety of vegetables, grilled to order, Mongolian grill, burger sliders, salmon, weekly features. Assorted gourmet and traditional salad bar offerings. Um, Plus all those other ones. Yeah, there's just... I'm already a, in. How much is it? I don't know. That's what I'm wondering. Uh, dinner, thirty bucks. It's not terrible. No, it's reasonable for upscale dining. I mean, it's same as going to Sunny's, right? <laughs> I mean, it's twice as much, sure, but I don't know, man. With tip, I usually get out of there well for like twenty something. Like Sunny's is like twenty one bucks for me, man. So it's nine dollars more. You don't have to tip. You don't have to tip. Yeah, it's a it's a buffet. You just go up and grab your food. What? I don't think you have to tip. 
X card and elite seminal wild card members dine for ten dollar comp ten ten comp dollars. I don't know what that means. Uh, I think that's the thing where if you play there a lot, you get like you earn points. Get out of town. Yeah, I remember hearing about that. I gotta go to the bathroom pretty bad. You gotta, you gotta take a duke. Unfortunately, <laughs> I think I'm gonna go do that. <laughs> I'll spare you and you spend my bathroom. I appreciate it, man. Hey, man, fix that. That looks like terrible. Is that good? Mm, it's the bottom. It's the no. You put that. Put that in front of the chair. Like this. Yeah, like that. Perfect. Okay. All right. <sighs> the problem is this has gotten me real hard to cast in this deck. <laughs> Taking a read, Duke. <laughs> oh lord. I don't have to play Glass Casket until the point where we need this guy to float. You gotta take a little boop. Like if we block here and they have to pump, like it's their, that's their turn, right? Oh, uh, white, 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 white. Do 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 do. Three, six, same as big. So we can actually cast the Murderous Rider, but not the Swift End. We are not even close. Actually, we might want to tweak our mana base a little bit because we don't need as much white. Whereas we definitely need double black for this guy. So that was probably an oversight on my part. I think it was easily to confu easy to confuse because we can cast Murderous Rider. We just can't cast Swift End. Wow. Let's get rid of that thing. Okay, this is a weird mishmash of cards. Did they just take all the rares? We're definitely glass casketing this. Five, yeah. This is another knight, right? Uh, another knight, sure. Yep, that's what I figured they would use that on. We have two of them. They just gained three life out of nowhere. Fascinating. All right, well, one closer to murderous riding. Sure. That doesn't really affect us much.
Yeah, we're just gonna tap these dudes down. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I couldn't do that. I wasn't sure if I was misunderstanding how... Because it's still a knight card, but I just wanted to make sure. Uh, white. White. Red. I, mean, I think I'm in a position where I actually just want to play Murderous Rider here just to get the body on the board, because... Maybe not. I don't know. Like, is it worth holding in case we draw our second black source? I don't know. Okay. I mean, they have to block, so they're probably going to block with Ginger Brute, sack it to gain three. Uh, we cannot actually play both halves in a turn. I mean, if we hit another black, we can, but not currently. Gee, fucker, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. I was going to take it for four hours and 30 minutes. Okay. Sounds good. I thought I was dropped from this league, too. Hey, buddy. Welcome back. It's your boy. It's your boy? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Any Pioneer Brewing coming up? Not not tonight. Maybe in the future for sure. Tonight there's gonna be a Pioneer break. Where? <clears throat> so you're 11 there too. They have nothing on board. Seems like you're doing well. Yeah, we're probably not gonna win this one actually. That's That's too bad. This murderous ride is a little awkward. It's I agree. I don't have enough uh, black sources. Correct. Yeah, double black is a little rough. You're right. Well, the murderous rider is fine. It's the swift end. Right, yeah, yeah. I mean the front half. And yeah. The problem is, like, this do? is triple white, this is double black, and, like, neither yeah, of them. Rough. This we can't cast off tournament grounds. This we can't cast off of tournament grounds either, I guess. At least the important part. But the problem is, this is just very good if we get to, like, just to keep attacking Yeah, it doesn't have to be a three drop. It's yeah. good at any point in the game. Uh, we like can probably do two red. There's only one card that we can't cast with. Yeah, because, like, Joust is the only card we can't cast off of Tournament Grounds. Gonna buy another cool home? No, they're free if you have a Spotify account. Spotify premium account. How many do we need, man? I mean, it's free. I'm just going to get it to get it. I guess you can eventually sell it or something. Whatever, man. Because Alexa's got that job down for you. Dude, tonight there's going to be a jailbreak, Michael. Oh, where? Somewhere in the town, dude. Hmm. I'm a pain in the bowl, by the way. You painted the bowl. <laughs> Jesus. 
Sometimes you just gotta paint that thing, man. <laughs> yeah, put your glasses on. Pull that thing out carefully, man. Oh god. I don't like what you're doing at all right now. Well, just touching the cards, I don't wanna get wet on them. That's what I don't want you to do, yeah. Tonight there's gonna be a Michael break. I imagine the jailbreak would take place at the jail. The jailbreak? Hmm. No, because the lyrics of the song are Tonight there's gonna be a jailbreak Somewhere in the town And you're like, well, wouldn't it be at the jail? Maybe they mean where they're breaking Like they don't know where they're gonna dig the tunnel up or whatever Hey man, what, what color is this? Coral That's right That's right Raw is rain it is my British voice. You like what it? What if you stupid goblin? You ain't got no friends. Wow, that's really just kind of mean. I don't really have a way to kill this guy, unfortunately. So I'm just going to put this on him and hope it works out, I guess. Why did you say he didn't have any friends? That's just mean. Because he doesn't. Josh, have a good night, buddy. Really appreciate you, my dude. Preach. What are you doing? Raising the roof? Just hmm. over so slightly. <clears throat> Ever so slightly. I don't know what color to get. I get coral for the memes. Or agua. Coral! Oh man, what are they doing here? Are they just gonna kill my flutter fox? Cause you belong to the city. They didn't kill it. Oh man, I think there's gonna be a jailbreak for sure, dude. Oh, I guess I'll keep the tactician. Really? If we play this, they just kill it. I want them to. Fascinating. Hmm. I wonder how thin Lizzie knew there was going to be a jailbreak. I wonder if it was just a gut feeling they had. Yeah, probably. Look at all these foxes. What does the fox say? Nothing. Hmm. Did I get both? One, two. What does Mike B say? I apologize because I'm offensive, but I'm dreaming about streaming for a while. What's number must have equipment you'd recommend? Why would that be offensive? A young ram, why on earth would that be offensive, buddy? That's crazy. You're a lunatic. So, the number one equipment. I mean, we're talking about like outside of microphone and, and webcam, right? Yeah, those are pretty essential. Without those, you really can't do it. I guess technically you could be a silent streamer. I mean, I don't... <clears throat> what? Why am I... What? Why am I paying for it now? Oh, okay, there we go. Yep, zero dollars. Confirm that purchase. Cool. Um, God, I don't even know actually. Uh, Stream Deck is pretty essential. I don't know. I I like I love my Stream Deck. I use it constantly. One thing I have is a little desk fan. You guys can't see it, but it's down here. I thought the cord would be longer, but I mean, other than that, though, like, there's really not a ton of equipment that's like super. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much what you need, right? Like, that's... I don't... There's nothing, like... There's no, like, secret tech that I use that, like, makes it... Good mic, good webcam. That's your... That's really what you need. I agree. OBS is free. You can spend a little time making, like, a, a background for yourself and all that. What does the background say? Where What are all my... Where are my, where are my spells, man? Because these guys are big. Somewhere in your deck. That's where the jailbreak's gonna be. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Eight to four. Solid. Solid gone. Tonight there's gonna be a Mike B. <sighs> what does Mike B say? I'll block. I mean, you're 20. Yeah, but I don't want to take eight. My 20 doesn't last too long if we. I, remember, I guess we're taking seven anyway, so. It's <laughs> <sighs> pretty unbelievable. Yeah, also, we're not generally a deck that goes good from behind. Okay, well, that'll do, I guess. Jesus. <laughs> that would have been good. <laughs> yeah, that would have been real good. No one does. Oh, you're right. I feel like outflank actually might be okay here, other than... Trapped in the tower. Would have been good last game. Do you, does it bother you that you sound like that? Because you should. It doesn't because I don't. It does because you do. It's only in your head. In your head. It's got all three colors plus double white. Can't can't blow that. I didn't. I kept it. I don't know why you're being good. like this. Just wondering if there was anything that makes you think my stream would be so different without this. Um, I don't think so, no. I mean, like, I, my my microphones are pretty high quality. Um, but my webcam is just the, the, the typical, like, uh, Logitech C920, which I is, like, the stream standard. deck is pretty... I mean, the memes are real. You gotta have the memes, man. Yeah, the stream deck is great. I actually love it a lot. It's really useful. Hey, guys. Nice hotkeys. Oh, big gulps, huh? All right. Well, see you later. Oh, I'm giving that one more white. Oh, this card's so good. That card's racist. This card? Yeah. Whatever, man. Come on. Why do people play the ginger brute? It does not seem good. <sighs> it's my... My own prison. I created my own prison. Should have been dead on a Sunday. Remember that song? I just sang it. Was so that Stained? Either Stained or Creed. One of the two. It was Creed. I They're was basically just the same band. I'm just going to cast this guy. Everyone seems to like Ginger Brute, but I'm not a big Ginger Brute fan. What's Dece about him? Can you explain it to me? Yeah, tell me like I'm a child. He's explain a one, it to one me like one with haste. I'm a baby. Doesn't seem that great. I mean, if we got one more white and slam this down, it's pretty good. <coughs> What's decent about him? Unblockable damage is okay with auras and keeper panels. Uh, yeah, but like, it's just one damage. Well, he's a ginger, but he's also a brute. Hmm, I understand now. Oh, boy. Counts as food. Okay. That's good, I guess. Wish this guy was floating. I'm floating. I want to float it with you. I'm floating. And I hope you like a floating, too. I'm not talking about doing your drugs. Okay. You want to float with me, Michael? We all float down here. Still got to watch the second half of that movie. I guess it's still in theaters, though. Hey, Georgie. Hey. Hey, Georgie, we all float down here. I think the problem with the original is, like, the actor who plays Pennywise is just, like, it's just too funny. Tim Curry? Yeah. What? Like, there's nothing scary about him. There's nothing scary about you. Thanks? I think. Think about it. Do sure. I just want to trade for these? I kind of do. I don't have anything wrong. I don't have anything against Tim Curry. I just don't think he plays a, a scary man very well. Whenever I go to the Indian restaurant, I love getting the Tim Curry. <laughs> it's my favorite, dude. It's 
Scoop doop 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 doo. Scoop doo 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 doo. I'm hoping they just don't have ways to draw cards in their green red deck, but they probably will this turn. Well, they probably have a bunch of those discard a card, draw two cards. Guess we'll find out, won't we, Moochel? Yes, we will. Moochel the Smoochel? I mean, that's the only thing I can think of in red that draws cards in this colors. Did you ever think about thinking about more cards? Remember him in Home Alone 2? That was him, right? Yes, he was in Home Alone 2. Yes, he was the uh, the hotel employee. Yeah, the dick hotel employee. You know who I like? What? Uh, He's trying to call it Home Alone 2 because that would be insane <laughs> if you can remember something from Home Alone You know who 2. else is in Home Alone 2? Donald Trump, dude. You're right. Yeah, oh, my dude. God, he was. He was in the hotel, man. You're right, yeah. I've never seen Rocky Horror Picture Show. Let me get something good here. Not a land, something good. Okay. What are our potential draws? I think we can actually use these. Because then it keeps up, yeah, lots of things here. Hey, dodgy. Give me that equipment. Literal whiff. Oof. Big oof. Some bull honk. He says like the perfect Trump line too. Is it something to do with his big words? He has the best words, dude. I mean, if they want to trade here, I'm game. Oh, they just want to keep blogging with the O4. Okay, Georgie. <laughs> That's my Pennywise voice from... Uh, from. I mean, it's pretty good. From, the, just... ori from the original It. We all float down here. Dodgy. <laughs> okay, that's Christ. not good. <laughs> you okay, man? This is going to do it for like 10 more hours in a row. You're going to love it. You're going to love the way you look. I guarantee it. It is Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, look. It's a Unicron. One, two, three. A rider in need is a friend indeed. Georgie. Let me talk to you, little Georgie. 4 3, huh? 1 4? 3 3? Oh, God, I don't want to like, trade with a friggin' broody brute. He's at 11. I'd probably just, just float him. Float him and boat him. Yep. If they draw any second card, though, it's rough. They haven't yet. Plus they're stuck on mana. <clears throat> well, they got this now. So they can add... They got four. Watch, they're going to play Rat Dealer. Rat rat Broker? What's that card called? I don't know any cards in the set, man. Rat... Rat Boy? Ratty Taddy? Yeah, Ratty... T rat Burglar. Mad Ratter? Rat Debtor? Playing out muscle. It's pronounced out muscle. My bad. That's actually not bad. Georgie. Hey. Okay, that guy's fine. Someone posted on Reddit, and their their post says, They all doubted me. My time is now, and this is the post. <laughs> like, that's an insane amount of Sahili Rise, dude. What if dude. it's just banned at the start of the format, though? Well, he's got to get rid of him before then, but this is a, an ungodly amount of Sahili Rise. It's like over 100. All right, let's see. Flutterfox number two. It's over 9,000, you might say. No. Georgie. Mm. 
Why do you keep having things? Wow, really? Jeez. What, they didn't block? That's interesting. That is interesting. I mean, a glass cascade would be great here, and we have two of them. Wow, that ginger brute, and this guy's gonna add one, two, three, four. Make this a seven, seven. I tried looking at the previews for, well, not previews, I guess, but like the set. And it's just too much information to What's take at once. Like this set, to try to get more familiar with the cards. Really? You haven't seen, really? I mean, I've seen the highlights, but I don't know like some of the random, like that night guy. I, I figured out what he does now, but before I didn't know what he did. You don't even know what cards I have? Basically. I can't with you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So a two, two will end up getting through. Doesn't seem worth. No, it does not. Where my glass casket at? This guy's gonna get real out of hand real soon. Interesting. Now our attacks are even worse. Hey, Georgie. We all float down here. Can you stop saying that? <laughs> is it possible for you to stop saying that? Uh, oh, another one. This is just, this is really cool, actually. So we have Double Glass Casket, Murderous Rider two outflanks we brought in. Outflank would be insane here. And uh, we just haven't drawn any of them. One glass casket is on the bottom due to contender. That's cool. Also silver flame, which would have been also great here. Jesus, this guy just keeps getting bigger. Yeah, I'll pay two more making an 8-8. Eight eight. Do -do 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 -do. Correction, 9-9. Nine nine. Oh, wonderful. I missed the And it has reach, so like none of these dudes are actually going to be able to get through. It has reach? Jesus. I'm your reach, Jesus. So flying, flying, flying. We can put this on here. They block here. They take three, four, five. Or they block here and they take six and go to three. It still doesn't kill them, though, unfortunately. Hey, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Sure. Oh, I forgot this taps for mana. That's why it's actually a 10, 11, 11. That's still not tagging with it. Interesting. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we also put like three lands on the bottom. That's their seventh land, so I'm pretty sure they're going to play like Sundering, the seven mana card. Nope, just Karen Brig Colin. Okay.
All right, it's 13-13 Elf Archer, which makes total sense. Still not attacking. Okay. This is all very fascinating. Yeah, I don't get the... I don't know what's happening. I don't know why he's not attacking with it. Fucking, this is insane. <sighs> Peeling off another blank. Blanks every turn. Oh, they can't attack because of our Archon. Yeah, that makes sense. Wait, what? Because they have to pay one mana for each. Creatures can't attack your Planeswalker unless their control pays one for each of those creatures. So, they're, if they're tapping out to put counters on this, they can't attack, too. So. Oh. Now, this is a board state. Yeah, you're not kidding. Thanks, I hate it. Sure. Thankfully, that's a human. A one-mana human. Where'd you rate the Eldraine draft more compared to others to a thousand or zero and Rise of the Draws is a ten? Seven or eight? I think it's actually very good. Rise was pretty sweet. The game's still really interactive. There's a lot of decisions. There's a lot of cards you can draw that like get you out of things. Oh, that's a really good draw. That almost kills them. It does kill them. Oh, even better. Well, they have this guy. Let's not forget. Does he have reach? Um, no, but they can sack it to gain three life, so they go to twelve. Okay, so that twelve, not nine. Gotcha. So they can, we can tap this guy, and oh, they have two ginger brutes. Jeez. They can sack them both for three life. Yeah, that's a food. It's a food golem. Well, isn't that a pickle? Maybe they won't remember. We still do it. Nothing else has flow, right? Don't think so. I gained three, which is super nice. <laughs> Pay costs. Oh, Lord. Sure. Yeah. Well, they have no cards in hand, so. Oh, these guys don't have flying anymore. Wow, that was fucking terrible. That's insane, dude. Well, yeah, that's bad. Must be nice. I mean, they have this in their deck, and they have no other cards that let them draw any second card. So, like, sure. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They've drawn seven more spells than we have. Why would you kill that instead of the Archon? I just have no idea what's going on in this game. It's very weird. Yeah, like, I don't think they weren't attacking because they they knew about the mana. Because like, they weren't trying to attack before that. What? No, you still you don't have four mana to attack, dude. The egg is the one card that we've seen in, in, in all these games that allow them to draw a second card. Sure. Oh, 
Okay, I get it. Please let me play my friggin' game, dude. And we're trading 5-5 five, five for 3-3, three, three, so... Oh, they killed the blank one instead of the Vigilance one? Alright, I guess that's fine. Murder Shrider one time. God, if we had the Flutter Foxes, like, it's just... Tap this guy down and we win the game, but... Yep. They just have so many creatures. I think we're saving more life by... By using this on their turn. You okay, man? That was a weird noise you made. Oh, my little... <laughs> I make weird noises, man, okay? Just who I am. It's Wednesday, my dudes. It's true. Uh, let's tap down this guy and your 5-5. Five, five. Murderous Rider one time, I know you're in the deck, I only drew you in game one, and that was because I didn't have double black. Now that I do, I want to draw you again. It's a good, it's a good little song. Hi, buddy, I know it. Uh, what day is it? It is Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> One, two, three, so you're paying three blocks. This guy on this guy. This guy on this guy. I will double block this guy. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Well, our board is significantly worse now, but it's okay. We're draw more lands, so that's good. They go to three. Maybe they'll forget about their food and die. Well, we still have to get past this, which, you know. Oh, they did. They remember their food. Well, that's what you gotta do. Yep, get your haggle on. Oh, look, they drew a second card this game. That's great. Yeah, now they can heal our flyer. Now it's they like can, the now they can do it for the every turn. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's pretty good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 lands to 11 cards. Yeah, unfortunately, this game was just set up for us not to win. Like, I don't know why they keep killing the 2-3 and not the 3-2, which actually is preventing them from attacking with more creatures. Yeah, I, I don't either. I, it's, I just have no... <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, dude. Oh my right. god, dude. Because our opponents make so many mistakes, but we can't capitalize on them. But, like, yeah, we them. just literally can't capitalize on yeah. them. It's unreal, dude. This is so ridiculous. It's pretty hilarious. 13 lands. There are four lands in the next 17 cards. Out of 23 cards, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, we've drawn 13 lands. Yep, there you go. Now you just get to cash, cash in on us every single turn. And they have two minutes left on the clock, so, like, but they have, they're still going to kill us because their board is too too big. Yeah. And they have two must-answer creatures. and All they have to do is jam and we're dead, basically. <laughs> <laughs> this is a 13-13, man. Why are you not attacking with you? What are they? We don't even have any flyers. So there's no reason to leave that guy back. I don't know what's going on anymore. Oh, my God. Oh, that's, that's great. <laughs> that's basically worse than land. There's also two lands on the bottom, yes. Let's let's look at all the cards that, that are... Look at this. Non-stop gas. 
That was the most... I don't even know what happened that game. I just one of those games where the gods of magic spite it on you. Mujul is right. The deck was just stacked against you. All right, let's actually fix the mana. Hold on one second. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, we didn't seem to have a problem with red, so I think that is better. Jesus. That match is just unbelievably frustrating. Our opponent made like at least five mistakes by my count. I don't know why they didn't just kill us. Like, what are you doing with 13-13, my dude? It's like, if they didn't know about the paying one, they learned about it, and they still didn't do it. Well, it's like they... And they, then when the guy's off the board, they still didn't do it. Well, no, one of the reasons I was like, I kept asking why they weren't attacking, and someone was like, oh, because they can't because of Archon, and I'm like, oh, that makes sense, but then... They try to attack with five guys when they had like three mana up. Not including the 13 13. So they clearly didn't know about it. Right. Until they tried to do it. And I was like, wait, you didn't know about this? I don't know, man. I just work here. I do just work here. Boy. Boy, do I. Yeah, also, they had multiple times to kill the Archon, they killed the other stuff instead. Right, and then you don't have to worry about it. You can just jam with everybody. I don't know, man. How do you not attack with a 13-13? Well, I think one of the reasons they probably didn't was because it is Wednesday, <laughs> my dudes. How did I not see that coming? Well, it is Wednesday, my dudes. So that's not... Oh, we have Goosey? I didn't know we had Goosey. This is Goosey? It looks like a goose, man. Don't don't even look at that thing. It's 100% a goose. I don't think you've ever seen a goose before. Man, that is a goose. It's all white and has an orange beak. This has a black beak with a mouth that's orange, my dude. What are you talking about? Oh, that's really hard to see. From a distance... Did you think this was the beak? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I can yeah. see that looking like a goose. Yeah, from a distance, like from here. From you can't a tell distance. That. You know that song? No. Oh. That's too bad. Well, this hand is hot trash. Got a red card, no red mana. Triple white card, no double or third. Oh, I thought they were countering it. I'm like, did you force spike this? They didn't. You if that was a thing, that seems bad. You seem bad. Got him. I got him. I guess you did. Land. Come on, red or white mana. I'm still calling it a goose. I accept. Interesting. Hmm. Well, a rider in need is a friend indeed. Oh, and the token of the night. You nice. countering this? Yeah. Cool. And then you hit glass casket tactician. All right. Well, get a free attack, I guess. Would you say token tonight? Yeah, token tonight. Doesn't matter, it's in the trash can now. Hello, 
Morgen, hallo. Hmm. Pretty sure we just get in there with this. Because it is Wednesday, my dudes. I don't know if that's a solid defense. Stop saying it's Wednesday! I'll see your death toucher and block with my death toucher. Oh, you're gonna... Oh, folio of fancies. Well, all right then. Folio, Leo. <laughs> That's good. That's good. What is this? Sh sure. So that mills us, right? Yes. Get him again. All right. So you can only for four, I go to nine. I have two flyers, you have two cards. They just drew four. Okay. Are you dead? I think they're dirtling too hard here. They are dirtling too hard. Oh no, I'm gonna. I'm gonna bill you during your okay. Will I mean I guess you can go block here, bounce these two if you have peel. Oh that's so tiny. Okay, well. White, white. Hmm. I guess I'll play this. Because I want to be able to play whatever we hit. So, actually, knights are equipment spells. Uh, we can go one, two, three. Keep those up. That should be a little more versatile. Because if we hit tactician, yep, we can play it. So now our, the number of cards we have is pretty good out of mill range. <laughs> They're also one and we have... Oh, we'll each draw one card. Hmm, seems good. Michael Bees. He was raised in the trees. It's true. Is that true? Yeah. It's crazy. I think I got so tall. You know, I don't know. You can put that into the story on the top of your library? Okay. Is that even a good idea? You're going to draw one here? One, two, tap. And then you're... Okay. That ain't going to do it. That ain't going to do it. 
Let's tap that a green, so... Okay. Uh -huh. These two untapped. What is this? You're just going to mill me now? Oh, because you're dead. Got it. Concede. Concede! Look, now we can just add more, a bunch more cards into our deck. That's my favorite. We could. Oh, True Love's Kiss. Add an Outflank. Add a... Add Ratter. Showed him three more cards. He's basically dead. What? Yeah, three more cards. He's basically. Would you dead. say the trash can is an improvement over the trees? <clears throat> Who's to say? I think the tr I think the trash can is probably a, a downgrade, right? Who's to? Would say? you rather live in the tree or a trash can? I don't know, man. It's hard to say. Well, think about it and give give the people an answer, Michael. Okay, I guess a tree. You'd rather live in the tree than a trash can. I think so, yeah. It's a little more spacious. Oh my god. You can swing and stuff. That's pretty cool. <laughs> you can't. Tell me, man. You I ain't swing swinging. I swing every day. What? I swing every day. What? You know about my swing life. Nah, I'll be. Trees don't have that savory trash juice, though. <laughs> well, it's, I mean, you gotta pick one, so. When you have a big old juicy glass of trash juice, do you ever put mayo and pepper jack on it? No. That's disgusting. I don't know what I was thinking. Should I draw some eyebrows on my head? Only if it's permanent. Is it? You're permanent. Am I? Ooh, this hand seems pretty bad. You don't like this hand? Mm, not really. Think about it. Okay, I have. It's still really bad. Let's see if they go to six. What are you keeping if they go to six? They didn't. Oh. That's better. What are we putting on the bottom? Mountain. Yeah. That's good. I like that. All red cards are knights, right? Except for one joust, which we'll just draw right now. Probably. That's my prized unicorn, Michael. Okay, calm down. No! Do I just run this guy out there? What's his other half to? Gain X life and each opponent loses X life. Or X mm. is the number of knights you control. No, let's get in there. Get aggressive. That's what I'm saying, dude. That's what I'm saying, man. Plus, we might draw the thing that gives you knights plus one plus one. Nightman. Nice man. The nightman is the, uh, the, you know, the day man guy. That was good. I Real know. stellar. Put him in a jar. <laughs> That's a casket, man. It's a jar. He's dead. What other is... A jar is just... A casket is just a jar. The door is just a jar. Is it? Huh? Is it? What? Is it? Golgari. Celestia. No, don't like you. Demir. I thought we were naming guilds. Turtles! Yeah, that's a guild. The Turtle Guild is a guild. What are you doing? You my desk? Well, there's some water because it leaked off the... Oh, my God. Don't whiff the, this uh, time. Do we whiff twice with this stupid idiot? Do cards like that always whiff, don't you know? That's my secret. I always whiff. Whiff. 
Watch, the next card we're going to draw is going to be a knight or an equipment. I guarantee it. You're going to love the way you look. It's planes. You lied to me. Fly me to the moon and Michael B. Watch me whiff. Then watch me nay nay. Can you please describe what a nay nay is? <clears throat> Officer. What? Can you please describe what a nay nay is? You're a stupid nay nay. Wow. Emory. Oh, that's pretty good. Watching witching well. It's okay. I just want to swamp here. Okay. True loves. Kiss. Nobody's got reach, right? Nobody be reaching. Don't you be reaching. This is not a legendary artifact creature. Okay. Just let you play artifacts from the yard. It's not that great. Well, they can play this, crack it, play it again, crack it. Like, this is just infinite witching wells. Who even cares? It's going to take, like, nine years and four mana. Okay, take it easy. Just saying. It's not that great. It's pretty good, man. It's okay. Seriously, WTF is an NA. I'm saying. If they play this with the scry on the stack, we're going to actually just exile it. Because now they can't, they can't counter it. They can't crack it. Fluttery Fox. That's actually very really good with glass. Why can they crack it? Because they only have three. It costs four to crack. Oh, okay. What the? F what's a nene? A nene is like a horse. <laughs> It's not. You could destroy their food so they're forced to starve. Wow. Birdle. Birdle? Birdle B. Are you talking about my Aunt Birdle? You have an aunt named Birdle? Yeah, Birdle. My Aunt Can Birdle. I, meet her? Mm. I, I don't think I think it's weird to just introduce my friend to my random relatives, man. Why? I'm sorry. It, mm. Why is that weird? I, think, I just want to eat meet your Aunt Birdle, man. I just want to eat my Aunt Birdle. <laughs> I just want to eat your Aunt Birdle. Oh god, this could get real weird, Michael. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I just, I just want to eat your Aunt Bertle. <laughs> Introduce me. Where is your Aunt Bertle? Okay. You got it. You got it. None of these things fly, so I'm not super concerned with them at this juncture. Come on, Swamp. Another planes. Sounds good. Killing it. Why is it a Pegasus if it can't fly? It's pronounced a Pegasus. Why is it a Pegasus if it can't fly? Pegasus can't fly. Unicorns. Wait. This is a unicorn, not a Pegasus. Oh. I thought it was Lonesome Pegasus. No. That's why. You're Pegasi? right. Pegasi. Like Emerald Pegasi. He's from the... What happened to that guy? Uh, he took it up. He took it up too many notches. I guess so. I haven't seen him in forever. Bam. I mean, I don't watch network television, so maybe he still is big. I don't know. You don't know, do you? You'll never know. I'm just saying I haven't eaten him in the spotlight in a while. You know. You haven't eaten in the spotlight. I haven't seen him in the spotlight in a while. Well, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry he's not uh keeping keeping you in his thoughts and prayers. <laughs> he owed you on garlic. Yeah, you gotta watch out on that garlic. 100 Buffalo Blasts. Fly MTG. Oh, Mike, what's going on, my dude? Long time no see. Man, Buffalo Blasts are OP, dude. Literally the best appetizer. Oh, yeah, there it is. Literally the best appetizer at the Cheesecake Just Factory. Just don't order them in combination with greasy pasta. Oh, man. Last time we went to the, the Cheesecake Factory... We, we got Buffalo Blast as an appetizer, and on the way home, Mike was like, you need to pull over. I'm going to vomit. And then I did. Several times. 
Yeah, it, it was, was not pleasant. It was something all right. Oh, Chris is back. Are they just gaining some life here? Okay. Fried mac and cheese. The fried mac and cheese balls are also super legit. Not gonna lie, as the kids say. Can you? This is only artifacts, right? Yeah, all right, cool. I don't want them to get like so tiny back. Man, we got Mike G and and Chris Chris F in the chat. So many Seattle homies. Sure. I'm just going to double block. I'm going to need you to speak up. I have a slight ringing in my ear, my dude. What does that mean? He went to a show. Oh, wow. This was really quick. Didn't... Wasn't that only like an hour? And a... No, man. That was a while ago. Was it really? How long have we been here? I've been drafting for like three hours. Oh, I've God. I've been streaming for five hours. It's been five? Yeah. Oh, man. We did like three events. We did like a throwing, uh, chaos draft, another one. Oh, and Kerwitz in the chat? Dude, this is three Seattle friends right here. Why don't I still live in Seattle? <laughs> because you made a horrible choice to come back to the swamp lands. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, though. Does this make my choice better? One, two, three, four. Done. But you know what? What? What would the stream be like without me? It would be It'd be better. What? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Nah, B. Do I have anybody? Is there anybody I can kill? I can probably kill this guy. Well, I guess we'll just have to move back. One, a two, a three. So then just go block here, block here, and that doesn't really do much for Oh, us. we did look at some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. That took probably a couple hours. A couple hours? Yeah, I think so. I left at 7.30. It's 11.30. Good Lord. Wait, there's a bunch of Seattle friends in chat. Haven't met these friends. Did they keep with us? No, um... Uh, you probably know Mike Gant. Mike Gant is... Uh, he played at uh, Shane's a bunch, but you probably actually wouldn't know him from that. Yeah, I don't think Chris would ever remember that. Yeah, Mike is actually more of a Renton friend. Folio of fancies. Sure. And then Kerwood actually works in uh, at Microsoft. So it's like... You guys are actually all from different areas, which is pretty hilarious. Okay, this guy gets float, so we're just going to kill this guy now. One, two, three. Hope you don't have another counter spell, I guess. You didn't? That's cool. That is cool. Wow, five, six, seven, eight. So you can play both of those things. But I live in Bellatown. What is Bellatown? Belltown. I like the pronouncing of the other E. I like the pronouncing of the other E. I've never even heard of Belltown. Where's that? Bacar Crow, where's that next to you? What's your nearest vicinity? What's your nearest vicinity? North, south, east, west? Give me your location. Well, they just mill us for... Oh, they just made us draw two? Sure. Oh, yes, Kitty Cat Food's getting here on Friday. It is Friday, my dudes. By the boardwalk. Space boardwalk. Needle by the boardwalk. Okay. God, he's so rich. It's unbelievable. He, li he lives in the Space Needle, actually. That's insane, dude. Kurt, you yeah. live in the Space Needle? That's so That's so crazy, dude. Yeah, baller is that. It's not Friday or Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> You don't know. It's Friday here. It's Wednesday here. I forgot the date. I like that Mike was like, here's 100 Buffalo Blast Bits, and then he just disappeared. He's like, silence. Do you need more? No, it wasn't about the bits. It was about the... Uh, I've been on the roof of the Space Needle. That seems terrifying. That does seem terrifying. Is it? Is it a roof you can go on? Well, he did, so oh. the answer is yes. The answer? Or maybe he's a crazy man and he climbed it. Can I just alpha and kill you? I'm no expert. Okay, so... Oh, all right. So, no, I know people. I hope those people gave you a safety harness, my dude. <laughs> well, it is Wednesday, my dude. <laughs> so... I can't even say my dude anymore. It's safety harness Wednesday, my dude. All right, so we're 2-0, two 2-1. Two I'm here lurking in the sh <laughs> yeah, it's funny because the Seattle guys, it's like, it's only like 1130 there. So you guys, this is perfect stream time. I got that nighttime advantage. What does that even mean? 
Do we, we, we're good. Whatever. Our deck's good. Our opponent's good. I had a friend that lives in an apartment near the Space Needle, and I wanted. I went on his roof, and they were filming an interview with Phoenix Jones, and I got to meet him. Do you know Phoenix time. Jones? No. He's like a legit Seattle superhero. Is Phoenix Jones still around slash alive? It's the most crazy, it's the most batshit crazy thing I've ever seen. He just like hangs out in Seattle and... Yeah, he's just, he like polices the streets and stuff. It's crazy. Yeah, that's Phoenix Jones. Well, I don't know, I wouldn't be alive. I guess he could get killed. Well, yeah, because there's all kinds of crazy stuff. Like, I, I thought there was like some crazy stuff that was going to... I wish it was a bigger movement where like... Where more people did this, but then like... So he randomly just stops crimes? Is that his thing? Uh, let's go to the Phoenix Jones Wikipedia page and find out. Um, uh, <laughs> is an American real life superhero initially wearing a ski mask to intervene in a public assault. He later developed a full costume and adopted Phoenix Jones as a pseudonym. Uh, Jones is the leader of the Rain City superhero movement, a Seattle, Washington based patrol group that described itself as a crime prevention brigade. The best way to prevent getting mistaken for a criminal by the police is to wear a super suit. Although local police have expressed concern that the strange costumes may lead to emergency calls from citizens who mistake the superheroes for criminals. Jones says that all members of the Rain City superhero movement have a military or mixed martial arts background. Huh. Huh is right. Um, I'll keep it. One white man and we're good. Seattle has mutual combat law, so he used to go around and find people committing crimes and he would be like do you want to engage in mutual combat and if they said yes he'd beat them up law wow that's amazing <laughs> oh i'd be like yeah all right sure and then he's like oh yes can you imagine if batman goes up to like the penguin and he's like would you like to engage in mutual combat and what the penguin's like uh it's it's telling me that magic online is going down at a certain time oh okay for maintenance because it's wednesday my dude <laughs> You couldn't stop yourself as soon as he said, because it's, I'm like, here we go. <laughs> Wasn't there some guy who was doing that dress up as a parole thing who got in big trouble for pepper spraying a bunch of teenagers, 20 somethings who were just loitering? I don't know. Probably. If there's That's a weird a crime, story okay. like that, I'm sure it's true. But what can you imagine it? like Batman going up to the Penguin and being like, would you like to engage in mutual combat? And the Penguin's like, no. Fuck no, man. What are you, insane? And then Batman's like, all right, see you later. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say yes. Oh. Oh, God, don't go to the next... Okay, good. I almost messed up my whole life. What was that squeal? That's what... That was... Uh, that's what's known as a laugh. Everyone... See, like, a lot of people have different laughs. So sometimes when people laugh, they sound different from other laughs. So... Oh, yeah. That's what we wanted to hit there. Oh, yeah. That's the ticket. The answer was... Because I'm a little piggy. Batman's like, uh, I didn't think this through. Wow, the criminals are really evading my attempts to uh, to thwart their efforts. I thought vigilanteism is like illegal, though, right? What's mutual combat, man? What's what's the what's the problem? I guess if they engage, it's mutual combat. Because of course Seattle has that law. Yeah, Magic has a uh, maintenance because it is Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> oh Someone lord! Someone stop him, please. For man, I ain't God. blocking this guy. Get out of here with that. I'll take two, unless you can, you can barge this guy. Make it a. It's gonna kill us. It's gonna deal us twenty. He's gonna kill fiend, kill and fiend us right now. Wow. Okay, that's fine. I was like, I was actually seriously worried that they're gonna go like two of these in barge, and, and deal us fourteen. I'm gonna play this because I think it's actually uh, more limited. This can take out any ground, dude. All right, so now I have four or five flyers. So, and then look, Batman, aren't you a genius? And he's like, yes, but I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> I don't care about that. This is my prize chicken. Okay, take it easy. What was that squeal? 
That was known as a burp, Frank. Oh. That was known as that was a burp. Do you know what a burp is? Also known as a burple. That's not what they're known as. Sure they are. No, Michael. You don't know. You can't tell me. Shit. <laughs> Worthy night. Blah, 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 blah. Um. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. She's there for seven in the air. This doesn't even do anything against either of my. My my foul my feathered friends. One, two, three. A rider in need is a friend indeed. Alright, so you're it's not looking good. Oh, we won. Alright, well that was that was something right there. Just gonna submit, I guess. I should dress in the old Subway Subman costume and dispense justice and meatballs in the mean streets of Columbus. Yeah, man. Go for it. What if you dressed as, as Jared? Mm. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we just win that match again. Wow. Conceded. Everyone, or... loving, everyone loves conceding against us, I guess. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. They're right down below, and it's a great way to support the channel. You can also check out patreon.com slash franklapore. For a dollar or two dollars a month, you get the get the pleasure and the privilege of supporting the content you just watched, and uh, you know Twitch streams, YouTube, everything like that. I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. That's all I got. All right, I'll see you later, guys.